Hi, I'm Gloria Lee, a park ranger with the National Park Service, working right here in Lower Manhattan. Yes, there are national parks in New York Harbor, 23 different sites in all. Let me show you a few of them. Gateway National Recreation Area offers miles of beaches, wildlife preserves, and historic forts, where people can hike, bicycle, and bird watch, all in the boroughs of Staten Island, Brooklyn, and Queens, and at Sandy Hook in New Jersey. I've worked at four national park sites here in New York Harbor, Federal Hall, the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, and the African Burial Ground. And there are other great parks to see. You'll never get bored. All of these parks are really easy to get to by subway, car, or ferry. But for now, this series of video podcasts will let you take a closer look at the national parks of New York Harbor without leaving your home. So start clicking and check them out now. In order to understand what Hamilton Grange means, you have to understand who Hamilton was and what it meant to him. This is a man who has achieved political importance and who had created a nation and a national economic system. This man had done it all. And it just seems to me that this house has to be appreciated as a highly personal statement of this man's success. He had this piece of land which he'd been familiar with all the way back to his days on Washington staff. We brought Congress up here at one point in order to look at the property as a possibility of where they would build the Capitol. He ultimately buys the piece adjoining it and he just makes great use of that piece of land. When we're doing the investigations in the building, we can actually see there's changes that are made during construction, which is indicative of somebody, most likely the owner, being involved during construction and saying, I want to do things different. Hamilton traveled a good deal, and wherever he went, he was observing things that he found in people's homes that he admired, which he would then write home about uh, and say, we've got to incorporate this feature in the house. We have to have this carved mantle. We have to have a triple light over the doorway. It must have driven the architect crazy because it, there was never any end to it. Although it's a small house for seven kids and two adults and the servants, it was beautifully executed. It's a very early example of what we call the federal style of architecture, but it was done in a very delicate touch. It's balanced. There are two piazzas on either side. There is a front entrance squarely in the center. And as you enter the house, you're facing a symmetrical interior as well. And directly in front of you is a portrait bust of Alexander Hamilton. And that was there when he lived there. It's not a later addition. The building shows a certain vision, a vision of what's possible. You find something that strikes you, and then you alter that in a manner, and it strikes you that much more. I think in a lot of ways, that's what he was able to do with the Constitution and with our financial system, as he saw a path by which you could achieve something. Mm -hmm.